Corny. It's Kids Corner and it's Sir Winston and Shirley here. I thought you'd like to join us for the project that our neighborhood has about a sidewalk scavenger art hunt. And today we are supposed to have a picture of a butterfly up in our window. And I thought you might like to join us for that. Butterflies are symbols. Do you know what a symbol is? It's it's like when you see something and you don't need words, you know it means something. Uh, if you see a sign and it has a line through it, you mean, know it means don't do it. Uh, you see a tree that's decorated and it makes you think of Christmas. Well, butterflies are like a symbol too. And I'll let you think about what kind of symbol it might be while I paint the butterfly. <laughs> painting so Winston and I had a little bit of a conversation about what he thought that the butterfly was a symbol of. I kind of think Sir Winston might be related to Winnie the Pooh because Sir Winston said a full belly and, and I said how did you get there? Well he said butterflies like flowers, bees like flowers, bees make honey, bears like honey and it gives them a full belly. And that certainly, yes, Sir Winston, is an interesting way of looking at it. But sometimes, you know, butterflies are associated with Easter because they're associated with a resurrection. Uh, kind of butterfly's life is it starts as an egg and it becomes a caterpillar. And then it goes into a chrysalis, which it kind of weaves itself something all around it, gets dark inside like a tomb, and then eventually it breaks free as a butterfly. And for the early Christians, that reminded them of the resurrection, the body in the tomb that seemed dead, and it breaks out as something new and different. I got to thinking, it might be a little bit like now. You know that we're supposed to stay home, a little like a, a tomb, we're supposed to stay inside. But when all of this is over, we'll be like butterflies. We can be spreading our wings going about. But maybe we should start to think like butterflies too. What can we do to make the world a more beautiful place? So it gives us something to think about. And before we end, perhaps if we could have a short prayer, if you could repeat after me. Dear God, dear God, thank you for the beauty of the earth. Thank you for the beauty of the earth. Help us to be, help us to be, like butterflies, like butterflies, spreading beauty, spreading beauty. Thank you for the people, thank you for the people who look after us, who look after us, and others, and others. Help us, help us to look after others. Help to look after others and the world and the world. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Amen. Amen. And we'll see you next time at Kids Corner.